everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. Before we get started on this video, go down there and hit that subscribe button because I do lots of videos about jewelry drawers, jewelry jar unboxings, and lots of jewelry educational videos. And I would love to have you subscribe and learn along with us. If you are really interested in expanding your knowledge and creating more opportunities for yourself, then this is the channel for you. Definitely lots of videos about jewelry education and lots of fun jewelry jar unboxings. And I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below about jewelry jars. Have you ever found one? What was your experience with them? Did you enjoy it? Are you still on the hunt? I know lots of people can't find them in their areas. If you did, would you buy it? Even if you couldn't see something in there that would make your money back? What are your thoughts on jewelry jars? I wanna know. Leave a comment and I will come down and read them and see what everyone has to say. All right, let's get started. The truth about jewelry jars and my rules of thumb. I do a lot of jewelry videos, including jewelry jar videos. And I get a lot of comments, some of them amazing, some of them are a little bit more negative. And one of the comments that I got recently is, I bought a $75 jewelry jar from Goodwill. What a disappointment. Total fail, pure junk. Save your money. I've been trying to call Goodwill to talk to the manager. Surprise, their mailbox is full. Since when are metal screws, bobby pins, Cheap, cheap plastic beads, junk watches, jewelry. I feel like a sucker. Won't happen again. Also, done with jewelry jar videos. I get your frustration. And this is one of several comments I get. Um, some of them much more hateful, uh, which I generally delete because I, I don't need that negativity in my life. But as I've always said, when it comes to jewelry jars, you've got to be smart about the jars you're choosing. I'm sorry to hear that you had such a negative experience with jewelry jars. I personally love them. I do have some rules of thumb for buying jewelry jars. Now, $75 is steep. I would definitely make sure when I'm looking at the jar to make sure I see something in there that would make my money back. I don't buy jars just randomly. I don't just pick up every jar I see. This one I chose on purpose because it's got lots of what looks like junk in there. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't have bought this if I hadn't seen something in there that would have made my money back. So while it's a gamble, it can be a fun gamble if you do it the right way. So the first thing to remember is that it is a gamble. You're taking a chance with your money that you're going to get something out of a jar that's going to make your money back and then some. Two, Make sure that you see something in the jar that is going to make your money back, or you think will. Sometimes I've bought jars and I see something that I think is going to make my money back and it ends up being broken or something like that. It's just the chance that you take. Most of the times, I would say 99% of the times, I find something in the jar that makes my money back. And there's usually something surprising in there that I hadn't even noticed before. So definitely, if if you're going to spend your money on a jewelry jar, know one, like you're going to Vegas, that's some money that you're ready to lose because it might not work out. You might not get something that is going to make your money back. But most of the times, if you buy your jars smartly and you see something, then you can make your money back and have quite a bit of fun unpacking the jars. I chose this one on purpose because it looks like it's got lots of just plastic beads and things in there. I spent $10 on this jar, I don't know if you can see that, $9.99 on this Goodwill jewelry jar. And the reason I bought it is because I see these, I don't know if you can see them, they're like little plastic gummy bears. There, There is this, what I think is a vintage little gummy bears charm bracelet and it's got all different colors of little gummy bear charms on there. It may be vintage, it may be contemporary, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if they still make them or if they started reproducing them, but if it is a vintage one, then that would easily make my money back. I also found this really cool black and white striped ring. It's a little plastic ring in there. I mean, I think that could bring me seven bucks, which is getting me pretty close to my $9. So yeah, and then the rest of it could easily go into a child's craft jewelry lot, or I could put it in a bag and sell it in a garage sale. So if you are wanting to get into jewelry jars and searching for the treasure, make sure you use some of those rules of thumb and that you're not just buying a jar filled with plastic beads hoping for the best. Know that you need to see something in there that looks promising. 
Thanks again so much for watching you guys. Be on the lookout for jewelry jars. See if you see something really exciting in them that would make your money back before you buy it. And have fun. Thank you.